Okay, we're gonna work through these five problems involving radicals, and I'm gonna show you how to handle these problems. So number one, we've got five squared to three minus two squared to three. How do we handle that? Well, you can see we're working with the same type of quantity. Uh, both of them have square root of three. It's just that we have five of these minus two of these. That's gonna equal three squared to three. Now that was an easy one. Let's do a little bit more challenging one. Say that the radicals are not similar. How do we proceed? Well, the first thing you wanna do is try to simplify each of the radicals as much as you can individually, then see if they have something in common like we had in this first problem, and then combine you know, the like radicals. So for number two, square root of 18 is really square root of nine times square root of two. And square root of nine we know is three, times three gives us nine square root of two. Over here, uh, square root of 20 is really like four times five. Now notice what I'm doing is I'm trying to divide out a perfect square. And so then what we have here is square root of four is two times four is eight square root of five. And then here, square root of eight is again, uh, four times two. And then we have this two. So square root of four is two times two is four. So minus four square root of two. Notice that we've got nine square roots of two minus four square roots of two, which is five square roots of two plus eight square root five. And we can't um, combine these further. They're just added. We have to have the same type of square root in order to combine those together. For number three, we're moving into some multiplication. We've got two square root of three times a quantity four minus five square root of three. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take the two root three, the quantity on the outside, distribute it into the parentheses, and we're gonna simplify. Keep in mind when you're multiplying, you wanna multiply like terms together. What I mean by that is that, you know, the numbers that are on the outside of the square root, you're gonna multiply by uh, one another, and the ones that are on the inside of the square root, you're gonna multiply those together. So here we've got two times four, that's gonna be eight square root of three. When we distribute to this group, we have two times negative five is negative 10. Square root of three times square root of three is square root of nine. So notice I multiplied the numbers on the outside and then the square roots together, so like terms. Square root of nine is three times 10 is 30. So we just get eight square root of three uh, minus 30 and you've got it. Okay, number four, we're multiplying a binomial two terms times another binomial two terms. So what you can do is you can either use the FOIL method or you can distribute twice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take, do that. So three times four is 12. Three times five root seven is 15 square root of seven. Uh, negative two root five times four is a negative eight square root of five. And then the last terms here, we've got negative two times five, which is a negative 10. Square root of five times square root of seven is square root of 35. Now we look to see if we can simplify further. 35 is just seven times five. There's not a perfect square we can divide out of that. Same thing here, five is just five and one, seven is just seven and one. So that's as far as we can simplify. There's no you know, like terms that we can combine. So this is our final result. And then the last one, number five, we have a binomial squared. And what you do when you have a binomial squared is you can think of this as six square root of two minus nine and another six squared of two minus nine. So squaring, you have that quantity twice, right? So now we're gonna do the same thing we did in this first example. We're going to distribute. So we have six times six is 36. And notice whenever you multiply a square root times itself, square root of two times square root of two, you just get the number underneath, which is two. You could say square root of four, which is two, uh, but I'll just make that two. So this is actually 72. Uh, six times negative nine is negative 54, and the square root of two comes along. And then now if we take negative nine and distribute, negative nine times uh, six is negative 54 square root of two, and negative nine times negative nine is positive 81. So if we combine like terms, we get 153 minus 108 square roots of two, and that's our final result. If you wanna see more problems involving radicals, I'll put a link to a playlist I did right there going through all different types of problems involving square roots, cube roots, everything um, related to radicals. So I'll see you in those videos.